Hey, my powerful Scorpios, welcome to Scorpio Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. If anything resonates, even if it don't resonate, go ahead, like it anyway. Why? Because you fucks with your girl. All right, Scorpio, let's get to this reading. But first, <laughs> I hope y'all having a wonderful day today. Y'all looking so freaking good. You know it. Most high, thank you for my powerful Scorpio family. I thank you for their life, their purpose, their very big victory is ours. We walk in and we receive it. It is so it anything, I mean anything that rises up against us, she'll fall down immediately. Alright, Rose High, what you want our Scorpios to know? Messages of clarity, messages of light. Okay. Mm. I don't know why, but this love deck is calling me, this love deck is calling for me. Messages of clarity. Oh, okay. Make sure this. All right, so the first thing that turned over, family, is addiction. So I feel like right now, either you could be uh, overcoming or going through addiction, or also there's somebody that uh, has an addictive personality or have addictions, or that codependent that is coming towards you. It's something like somebody is addicted to your love, Scorpio. They have blockages and restraints. It's making it's kind of hard for them to even come towards you because they are. Somebody's battling their self. I do see paradise, happiness, expansion. Scorpios, right now, you could be in a place of just happiness, abundance. Seeing things just start to flow in your favor. I feel like things are just starting to pick up your stability. The, everything in your life is starting to go well. And I feel like somebody from the past is really watching this and seeing your happiness unfold right in front of them. I feel like this could be somebody that Maybe in your, in your past had a blockage on communicating. They didn't know how to communicate their feelings. They didn't know how to communicate what was bothering them, if anything. And also, I feel like this is somebody that had a lot of... Mm, this person was possessive, but it was like not so much that possessive of you. It's like they had this... This character of not wanting nobody to touch their shit, but when it came to you, they act as if you were not there, so it, they didn't mind you being touched. Something like that. Messages of clarity and truth until they realized that you were touchable. <laughs> Spirit, what I spoke to us need to know. Messages of clarity. All right, next thing we have here. It's lightning. Family, I feel like there's about to be an event that's about to take place, and it's going to happen rather fast, especially dealing with this person from the past. This person has been obsessively watching. You have been obsessively seeing things happen in your favor, and they feel an uh, energy of resentment and also uh, it's like fear and denial. This person has a lot of emotions wrapped up in their mindset because this person re was reluctant to make a move. And now it seems as if time is not on their side. This person has been hovering over you, like just watching what you do, how you do, who you with. I feel like there's a lot of change happening. It's going to be a shock. I feel like this person is just going to come out the blue and something's going to take place. It's going to be like, your mindset gonna be like, really? Like, really? This how really this how you act? It's something like that. It's something like a what a stalker would do, you know, just jump out of the darkness and be like, I love you. Like, bitch, you ain't talked to a ninja in like a year, three years. You come here talking about you love me. Well, you should have, you should have, should have <laughs> worked on that love years before now, Mr. Clarity and True Spirit. <laughs> What should our Scorpios be expecting? Okay, the first thing I see is soulmate. So this person is a soul contract, a soulmate, somebody that you once uh, had some type of spiritual union with so that you could learn a lesson in life. And I do believe this motherfucker done taught you a few things on self-love, how not to give a fuck, and how not to accept some some things you do not want. And over here, I do see the dragonfly. So Spirit says, be lighthearted, finding out. I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like this person has been... There's changes happening. This person could come back wanting to be a part of your life, uh, wanting to be a part of your stability and joy. And it's like they want to confess some things. 
So they want to uh, tell you that they're ready to change and see how a real uh, relationship would be with you if they worked on it with you. This person, I feel like usually when they say be lighthearted finding out, it's more like be prepared because you're about to find out some things they did in the background. But this energy right here, family. This energy right here, I feel like somebody about to pour out their heart. Like, it's the energy of, I need you to understand where I'm coming from, Scorpio. It's like a, a low-key, desperate plea for help, help, help. It's like that. Somebody wants you to help them. Somebody say, help me, help me, please help me, Scorpio. You know I want you, baby. Yeah, this person's heartbroken because they're deeply sad and unsure of the future because of your separation. This person is grieving your presence, your energy that they were stealing and didn't even appreciate it at one point in time. Well, now they say they're ready. Scorpio, Scorpio. It seems like they're ready. Seems like they're ready. I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. To go all the way. <laughs> I know, I don't think so either. I don't think they are. I know. Some of them say they really don't. Don't put them in the stereotype of the other people. Because some people change. I hear you. I hear you. It's not that quick and not that often. But I hear you, family. Cross watchers, I hear you. Messages of clarity and truth. Most high. What you want our Scorpios to know? <laughs> Why is addiction here, spirit? Okay. Okay, so addiction, this person is wanting to move away from the image that you have of them of the past. This person wants to come to common waters. I feel like since this person has not, has not been back in contact with you, this person has been going through their own karma. And you know karma is a big B-I-T-C-H. So right now, this person is, is looking at your life, looking, seeing how, what they put you through and they're seeing how you healed, how you moved on, how you elevated. And now this person is wondering, let me see if Scorpio is going to allow me to come back into their life when they're enjoying their paradise, when they're having so much joy. Mm. Scorpio, it's something about you that the way you heal, the way you overcome things, this person is very much intrigued. This person wants you to teach them. Is a show me, show me, just teach me. Okay. This is a sensei good fella. <laughs> he say, master, <laughs> I need you to teach me. Teach the grasshopper. Scorpio say, I ain't trying to teach nobody no more. <clears throat> If they ain't got it by now, and this is why you don't want to fuck with this individual. See, look, so this person right now is still in the seven of swords energy when it's dealing with this paradise. This person wants to sneak. It's like this person is sneaking away from a relationship or a situation that they're in. Could even possibly be the one that they left you for. Or if not, they're just sneaking away from some heartache. Like this person, like I said, I feel like they got their karma when they did whatever they did. Still going through the karma. Let me just say, they karma, they shit is not up yet. No, it's not up. But this person went through some shit with somebody in the past and now they're trying to... E ease on down, ease on down, down the road in it towards you because you over here in your abundant place, you over here in paradise, you over here about to find some union with somebody else. You feel me? They say your new new is in process on deck. You talking to him right now, and this person is trying to. Sneak away from some something or someone that they must have recently got their feelings hurt by towards you. Yeah. And they, and they see you over here with the six and the seven. You over here with the four swords. Just you still healing and, 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 and enjoying life. You not giving no fucks. And this person knows it. You, you could be ignoring this person. This person could have already reached out or tried to reach out. But this person's in, in this person's mindset. Because it's like they still in a whole lot of mental stress. And Scorpio, we have freed ourselves from that energy that no longer exists with us. Only prosperity, abundance. 
abundance and long life and joy, happiness. This person don't know that. And this person was going to shock you is how this person try to wiggle themselves back in, sneak they little sneaky ass back into your world. That's what's going to be funny. See, look, I can't make it up, family. Look, got this nine of swords, clearly swords. This person is trying to move in fast. This person gonna try to come in so fast with some lies and shit. So the reason, let me show you how I get the lies, right? Okay. So because this, this knight of wands got a sword, so they trying to come in and tell you some truth, right? But truth is when it hit to this seven, this is something this person has been uh, very much guarded about. This person feels trapped in their mind about some things they could have done in the past or uh, some situations that they are moving away from trying to move in real fast. Now the Nine of Wands is, is the moving car. You, some people could literally be moving. This person could literally be trying to move closer to you or literally in your house. The, the, the Knight of Swords speaks of a mofo in this energy by this motherfucker. Speaks of somebody who sometimes who acts before they think. It's just they just trying to hear me get to. The, let me just get there. God damn it! I don't care what I gotta say, what I gotta do. Let me just get my foot in the door. <laughs> this I don't know. This life. This a hustler though. I gotta say this a hustler. Poke ting ting. But um. So with this right here and the seven of swords, that's the eight. So this person is already feeling trapped in whatever situation that they leaving from to come in and try to build something with you. This person is very much stuck in their head. Cause look, all these, this could be an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra, or it could just be any sign and they just stuck in their motherfucking head. And then with this six, so adding that six to this eight, this is a 12, right? So let me say, let me just say this. Mm. Nope, nope, my bad. That's a 14 and that's a five. So the five of swords speaks of somebody that's a habitual liar. And you know this person was a habitual liar because that's all they did. And now they coming back in trying in that same lying ass energy that you escaped from. I I see why you're running, Scorpio. Well, you ain't running. You just obligingly not paying this motherfucker no mind. Do not give this person no attention. I promise you because they are already mentally fucked <laughs> Like, and this is not a joke. Let me, first of all, let me get serious right now. Family, mental health is very important. Mental, mental illness is real. This person is really going through this mental illness, okay? This person is caught up in their mind. They're in their own place, their own addictions, trying to run away from something that maybe they did not address. And they want to come back into you because they see you in this happy place and they want some of that happy energy. Because wherever they at is low vibrational people, negative minded, you can't do this, can't do that, or every, it's like the odds are against you. Mm. And it's hard to pull yourself up out of a, uh, out of a negative place when ain't nothing but negative people around you. Trust me, I did it. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor of the negative energies. It ain't easy, but but you can make it, okay? We made it. You can make it. They can make it. They just can't make it with us. Cause this year here, this year right here, family. Anyway, yeah, it's a soulmate connection. This person knows there's a connection, but you moved away. Spirit, what's this soulmate doing here? Because you know it gives no... Yeah, so this person is hoping that they can come back to your love because where wherever they were, this whoever they went to did not show them the love that you always showed them or you gave them, family. Yeah, and right now with this drag, oh, when it's okay, so now this is this is this is more of the energy that it usually feels like. Remember what I said with this of uh, being lighthearted, finding out things. I feel like this person want to reveal they, they they secrets. Now this could very much be a Pisces. You hear me with all this water and emotion matching the in their head. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. This Pisces, I feel like there's still some things that are gonna come out. They they want to express how they feel to you, but there's still some more hidden jewels that may still affect you emotionally. And I know Scorpios, you say, look, just throw the whole person away. Look, I'm down with that. I I believe in, in, in just trashing whole beings. I do. The avatars just throw the hell, their goddamn energy away. I'm, I'm a firm believer, especially when it's an issue, especially when it's dealing with your paradise. So this person is, is based on them coming back to you because your paradise, they want it to be there. So they want you to ease their mind. It's 
Still some raggedy ass energy, family. I can't lie to you, it is. So some truth's about to come out. This person about to try to reveal they, they feelings, but they doing it in a sneaky way. They about to talk about where they come and where they came from, which is with some old drama. And this person is a habitual liar. They gonna say whatever they have to say to move in towards you because they are really mourning the loss of you. They are mourning you. They feel like, see, look, they're about to come in and tell you there's no other third party. See, with the three of swords coming in verse, this person is about to tell you that they are not in a third party situation anymore and, 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 and that they're moving forward. But the truth is they're still stuck in that situation, in this third party situation. They just ignoring the person that they feel stuck with. I hope y'all getting this story. Do, do Are y'all getting this? Put a thumbs up in the comments if you get what I'm saying. So what I'm saying, this mother freaker just came back from a situation that they are still, well, actively in. But you know how this person be ghosting. So you remember back in the day they used to ghost your ass. Well, they ghosting this mofo now. Now they ghost them. They coming back into you. That's why they sneaky. See, they got to they gotta even lie to get out the, get out the way. So now they sneaky come to you. About to come tell you a handful of bullshit ass lies. <laughs> Because they trapped over here, about to come over here trying to rush in to you, you feel me? Because you over here minding your own business. You heal, losing weight and shit, hair growing, skin flourishing, drinking your water, exercising on the regular. This person been watching you while they going through their hell. Now they say, let me just come back because I'm stuck over here. I'm going to tell this person something and I just dip out. Let me ghost they ass. Let me lie to, to my Scorpio, telling the Scorpio, this is no longer, I have no other, I have nobody else. When they lying, they gonna be trying to tell you the truth. Let me tell you about my feelings. When they coming to you lying about how they would, I believe they gonna tell you some truth about how they feel. But it's it's more to it, Scorpio. This motherfucker is a joke, a straight up joke. Er, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I think I'm gonna leave it right there because right now this is just way too much for me, Scorpio. So please be mindful. You got that lying mofo from the past coming back in trying to dip on somebody else, okay? I know they ain't got nothing to do with us and I know what y'all said in the background. Mercy, I got a block. No, 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 no. He can't come here. I know. Just get prepared because Spirit says it's gonna be a shocker. Yeah, this person gonna come in unexpectedly. And some of y'all maybe just recently found this out. This person coming in real quick. And, and, and when I say quick, I mean quick like lightning, okay? Look, this motherfucker's running in, want to come tell you some bullshit. And they coming fast. And I feel like, I just feel like it's going to be laughable if you don't want to hurt them. All right, family. That's all I got. Like and subscribe. I love you. Love yourself. Remember, we the guys. And there's nothing they can do about it. But run their raggedy ass back and try to lie to us. <laughs>